Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching my video. I've had a few viewers ask me to uh, do a quick video on how I sharpen a lawnmower blade. So I'll run through and show you a couple of different methods and uh, how to balance them. Now one method is to uh, use a file. It's best if you have a vise that you can put your uh, blade in. You want to put it with the point, the edge up. Um, and basically what you're trying to do when you sharpen these blades is you're trying you're not trying to get an a edge like you would put on a pocket knife or something like that, but you do want a decent edge on it. You want to get all the nicks out, um, and you want to come fairly close to maintaining the angle that's on the blade when it's new. Now, of course, this is dull as a cob. Some blades will have an edge that go all the way back into here. Um, it's If they've got like a curve in them like this one does, it's a little bit tricky to sharpen all of that, but you can... For sure you want to sharpen this much of it. If you want to, you know, try to put an edge on this back here, it's not a bad idea. But you take your you take your flat file and you go in the direction of the edge. Like this is the edge, so you're gonna file down that face. A file only cuts on the push stroke, so you're not trying to do you'll see some people file like this. That's not how you file. You you only file on the push. So you're gonna do that. I'm going to turn this down a little bit so it's a little easier to see. Like so. Now we can kind of see that edge a little bit better. And you can see how the file's taking off the metal and I'm getting down to shiny metal. And you know, out here on the edge are usually a little bit rougher. It takes a little bit more filing. Once you've worked out all the nicks and you've got a decent edge on it, like I've gotten here, then what I recommend you do is just come on the back side, almost vertical, and just hit it once or twice just to take off any burrs that are on the back. Because what the burrs will do is they'll actually dull the blade quicker. Anyway, then that, that edge is done. So you gotta flip it over and do the other edge. And then you have to balance it. So I'm gonna show you two more methods of sharpening a blade um, if you have access to them. This particular blade is in really bad shape. I'm gonna sharpen it, but um, it's kinda questionable as to whether or not it's it should be kept. But we're gonna go ahead and sharpen it. So. One of the ways you can do it is if you have uh, an angle grinder. Um, you got to make sure that you have a metal grinding disc on it, not a cutting disc. If you're doing this, you want to make absolutely sure you're wearing eye protection also because you're going to throw a lot of sparks. So what I'll do is I'll show you how I'm going to dress up this edge and get a sharp edge on it. Even when I use a grinder, I'll still kind of touch it off with a file when I'm done. So I ground a lot because this blade is kind of out of shape. But then I'll usually come back behind it and just clean it up a little bit with the file. Now you gotta be careful too when you use a grinder. This is gonna be really hot. So I would not run my finger along it because um, it's gonna be hot for a minute. Then I'll dress up the back side and that'll give you a decent edge too. There's another hand grinding method. Uh, I don't have one but they make a stone that you can put in a drill that's got a beveled edge on it and a little guide uh, where the there's a gap between the guide and the stone and you stick that in your in your drill and you just the guide goes back here and the stone has the right angle on it and you stick it on it and you grind it they do a pretty decent job uh, i don't have one but you could use that also as a method for hand grinding then the last method i'll show you is to use a bench grinder um, if you have a bench grinder you can uh, you can also grind the bevel off on a wheel.
and so again then once I run that across the bench grinder I'll, I'll generally put mine back in the vise and take the file across it just to kind of dress it up. So anyway, that'll dress that up. Take the burrs off, and then we have to balance it. Take a, I've got a, I'm in the basement in my shop. If you've got any exposed framing, just take some framing that's accessible to you. If not, just stick a board up against the wall. Put a nail in it. And then I take my uh, little torpedo level, and just you know an inch and a half, whatever, above the the nail, and I just scrub a, a level line, kind of as a reference. Now on these blades, like this with a star hole, you can only balance it from one side because the bottom side you got a point, so you can't really balance it. Where you can get a balance point in that hole where it is right you know right here on this point you can't it won't you can't get it to balance on the nail right there well you could but it'd be difficult so you just put it in here it's a lot easier and then hang it on there and see how the thing hangs um, don't put it all the way up against the board so that's pretty well balanced you you want them balanced so that they don't vibrate when you're cutting uh, if they're grossly unbalanced they're gonna vibrate like crazy when you cut so that's one of them let me check my other one so here's the other one I see he's grossly out of balance this is the heavy side because it's lower so I need to take more metal off a bit to lighten it up so it comes up so I'm gonna go do that and come back and try it again I'm just gonna hit it with the grinder again and make sure I keep a sharp edge okay so uh, I'm still a little bit heavy on this side, you can see, just to touch off. So now I'm close enough to where all I have to do is uh, just hit it a couple times with the file and it'll be fine. So I just ran a couple more passes of the file over this heavy edge. So there we go, now I'm fine. So I showed you three different methods of sharpening these blades. One using a hand file, uh, the other is using a uh, handheld angle grinder and finally using a uh, bench top grinder. My preferred method is to use a hand held angle grinder. I think you can shape the blade better and I think you get a little bit better edge. And then generally I just touch that up with a file, take the burr off the backside, and uh, it gives me a nice good edge at last for a better part of the season. Thanks for watching my video about how to sharpen a uh, lawnmower blade. If you've got a Husqvarna tractor, check out my other videos showing how to replace the blades on the tractor and also how to remove the deck so you can do this without having to be up underneath the tractor. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you check out some of my other videos, and I hope this one helped you. Hope to see you back soon. Thank you, and God bless you.